had a girl the other day. She told me her story, and it made me praise and give Jesus all the glory, because this one, she had it real rough. It makes me believe in really bad luck. I talked to her about everything, from life to love, everything for her. It revolved around drugs. All her friends, they talked her out of suicide. Then they left, yet they didn't stay for the ride. I could tell, I could tell she's one of a kind. It wasn't hard to find, she's just a little blind. I made a new friend from all of this, who I was there for till the end. A foster kid since the age of 10 who was beaten and abused by her own kin. The story is such a shame. Yeah, it's a shame, but what's even worse is it's just the beginning, and I'm saying. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Very, nice. Thank very, you. very, very nice. I, I um, um, wow. <laughs> That's very <laughs> impressive. I mean, do you actually, um, I mean, you, you, you're not just talking about lyrics, you're talking about experience. Here and you, you really yeah. got some really powerful lyrics out there. The one, the one thing when I I've done that on an online mm -hmm. radio show before too, and the one thing I get asked a lot is, is that for, is that true? Yeah. And of course it's true. Uh, but I just, I just don't know that person. That's one thing they always ask. Like, do I know the person? Oh, do you know the person? You're talking I about? don't. I do not know that person. But if they hear that song, I really want them to hear. It. Oh, those folks are out there. Yeah. There's exactly. No exactly. No, there's no doubt. About This is your first time on radio show, right? On an in-studio radio show, yes it is. Yes, okay. it is. Well, we're going to ask a couple of questions about you, and the toughest question is always the first question, because you you have no idea what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but the toughest question that, that uh, is simply, who is Jared Berry? What? <laughs> Jared Berry is a hip-hop artist from Indiana, Pennsylvania. And my belief with music is that kids go to music to escape, so I try to make it a happier place. Or I try to set the mood, but it always is a happy, like it's a happy thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how long have you been involved in music, per se? Well, like, do you mean just involved in general mm -hmm. or take... Well... When I lived in North Carolina a few years ago, which was um, fourth grade, I started a local band and we would just make music and put it on MySpace when that was mm -hmm. big. And people knew us there, we made a little CD and stuff like that, and that's when I first like fell in love with music. And then I moved here and I stopped for a little bit mm -hmm. and then I started beatboxing a little bit locally and stuff. People took to that and they liked it so I started I tried to sing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that didn't work that didn't work out and then my friends got me into rapping and I just recently that song that you played live free that's what got me really well known I got a question about beatboxing and rapping but before <clears throat> that uh, where are you from I count Indiana as my hometown Indiana mm -hmm. Pennsylvania that's where I'm from okay but where were you from before you were in Indiana where were you at before you were in Indiana? I was, I, I was in, like, I Did you grew up? Were you yeah, I was, I was born, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where I'm, yeah. Okay, tell us about your family. My family? Yeah. yeah. They're nice, they're, they're <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a good start. I, I love them, they're very supportive, they're always keeping me humble, okay. and all that. I have, when I get a big head, they make sure they pop it. Not literally, but you know. Well, right. who's in the family you have to identify? I have my mom right now, uh -huh. my dad, John, who's beside me. Is your mom listening? Yeah, she should be. What well, do you want to say good morning to I me? love you, mom. Good morning. Oh, How are you this good. fine morning? Oh, my God. <laughs> We're turning into the Oprah show. But... <laughs> okay, go ahead. I have my baby brother, Jacob, who was just born. He's eight months old. Oh. And um, my sister, Grace. That's okay, great. And, and um, they're very supportive of your, your music. Do yeah. they ever say, shut up, we're tired of this? No, 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 they really don't. Okay, when they get to that point, then they really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, what do you do other than music? I don't know. I, I do sports before. I lift, I lift weights. Mm -hmm. That's my, my main two things in life are music and lifting weights. Okay. You look like a weightlifter a little bit. I don't know if that's a stereotype, but you, know, you look like you're very fit. Thank you. Um, now, you, 
And how do you know Jake? Jake, I originally I met him when we when I first moved here from uh, North Carolina when I lived there. Mm -hmm. I met him at my grandfather's house. First time I met him, my uncle says, "Oh, who's taller?" And I get up on the porch. I get up on the porch because yeah. I I was really tall for my age. Then mm -hmm. now I see people now. First thing he says, he's not even up there. I'm taller. Okay. And we get up there, and he was. <laughs> Well, Jake was a uh, funny story about Jake a few years ago. I met Jake, and he was a little teeny, scrawny little thing. Yeah. And then four years later, he's this giant. I mean, it's amazing how big this kid is. You so, know, yeah. uh, John, uh, kids grow. Yeah, I met him yesterday. You met him yesterday. He's a big kid, isn't he? Yeah, he's a he's a big kid, but he also seems like a really good kid. Oh, he's a really nice kid. Yeah, he's a big kid. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you, you, we were talking a little bit earlier about um, just you know, music and, and Jake had said something about, I saw this little video that you had done. Mm -hmm. uh, you had done, uh, and he has it on his phone. Tell our listeners about this video. Alright, the video, it's um, a lyric video for my remix of Mac Miller's Watching Movies. To the younger viewers, you should know it. I'm going to be shocked if you don't know it. It was the second single of the sophomore album, Watching Movies with the Sound Off. And when, now, when you hear a title to a song, you should really, it should give you an idea of what the song's going to be. Well, this, this is not what the case was. So that depressed me as a listener and viewer. And if Mac Miller ever hears this, get with the thing, do get with the program. So I took the song and I completely rewrote it. I redid everything. And it takes place as a movie. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were skeptical about that, like listening to the song, but when they saw the lyric video, it started coming to them. And when they see the music video, every time I hear the song, I can see it playing in my head. So uh -huh. that's when the music video comes out, they're gonna, that's being shot by Morgan Johnson from ICTC. That's a technical school here. Right, right. right, yeah. right, right. And so it's going to be it's going to be a great a great video. Good. We're look, definitely looking forward to it. I was very impressed with it. And again, I can tell you <laughs> I was like I don't think so. But then when I heard that, I was like, "Wow, that's really and I like the Thank the, you. the, the Thank way you did it. It was done very professionally." So, um, we're going to stop teasing our listeners. We want them to hear um, at least on the track what you can do and then we're going to talk with you a little more. Uh, can you set up this track and tell us what this is, what we're about to listen to? You are about to listen to what I consider my first radio single, Live Free. And basically it's a time where I was getting a lot of hate and uh, being bullied a lot for being on like the come up around here, I guess you could say. And people were hating a lot, so I wrote this song for you if you've ever been bullied if you have a dream and you want to achieve it or succeed in it, you have to put in work, and this is what that song tells. All right, that's, that's awesome. You're listening live to the Acoustic Hour 1160 WCCS. Jared Berry, everyone, and this is his uh, first live single, so we're going to listen to this and uh, we'll talk about it on the other side. Last chance of that set. Is that at the beginning? It's me as a little kid. That was one of the mindset songs. Now it's still the same with me. When I was here, we were very, 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 most say they wanna hit big on me, I never wanna peek I'm just what this world needs, I'm exactly what it seeks And just the flow, I'm like those stairs in the creeks In fact, flow better than any stream or creek You find interest in my rhymes, like they were something by the Greeks I wanna get big for more than a week Reason being is I only have a no plan B To those actually tuning in, live free Ha ha To live free. free, do what you gotta do to be you. Free. Dream what you gotta dream to succeed. Free. Do what you gotta do to be you. Be what you wanna be to live free. free. Be what you wanna be to live free. I've been dreaming about throwing up like Gerber. Asking the homies think I'll be signed, they say for sure. It's been a long torturous road and I mean what I'm saying. For rapping, I can hurry. 
rest, but just a rest for paying. When I come up, I hope my music's is innovating. I hope I go big forever, never start decaying. I knock these instrumentals out like chloroform. Just remember now, cause homie, you were born. I bring the pain before the start of the storm. I won't even apologize, that's just how I was born. People don't like the fact that I have the ability. Getting picked on like I have some type of disability. My rhyme scheme that's sicker than cancer. Why do all these rappers not do it? It big be your Francis. You, you live like careful what you see. I'm a chancer. Hip hop gave me a color, not answer. Be what you wanna be to live free. Do what you gotta do to be you. Dream what you gotta dream to succeed. Do what you gotta do to be you. Dream what you gotta dream to succeed. Be what you wanna be to live free. Be what you wanna be to live free. Be what you wanna be to live free. Quit being lazy and do it, come and like you with it only yet. No more sitting around trying to fit. You gotta start somewhere to blast off like a rocket ship. If you love your passion, pursue it with action. No caution if it's still a continue without pausing. No blood, don't keep talking down this road. That's the like to everybody and to everybody. I plead two words. Live free, 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 free. <clears throat>